So we've got the surface cleaner running here on this paving. Cherry picker set up. And we're coating the window frames. Curative coating there on the window frames. Enhance the colour. Moz? <laughs> she said, it's not him I'm worried about, it's the camera. What's this to be worried about? <laughs> Morning everyone, crystal clean. So we've been on this building since Tuesday, we've been cleaning all the cladding, all the window frames. Um, coating the frames as well, so basically all this elevation here, after, after today, uh, will have been completed with coating the frames. And then all around the building, it's probably about uh, maybe 220 to 200, mm, maybe 250 windows, if you was to class them as them size there you count on that, on that size so like that for example there you've got two sections class that as eight probably about 250 windows all the way around people asking about systems in the van and that litre boiler that's rated to 500 bar that boiler uh, pumps 300 bar you might be sicker engine exhaust there goes through the floor comes out underneath boiler chimney goes through the roof out there there's the crap in the van we don't know this much stuff in the van but we just put on what we need for the job chemical so yeah quite a bit of weight on there really so we and then we have the cherry picker So yeah, finishing off for today, we're gonna you know, finish this paving here, finish the frames on this black section of cladding. That's what's left to do there. And then we're going home. And we'll be coming back next week for a few days to do the other side of the building. In fact, I'm gonna show you the other side of the building. Let's have a look. Just bear with me, I'll go through the building to come out the other side. Got all this cladding. Got a different size cherry picker coming next week for this one. This is uh, 85 foot. So there's uh, two to three days work on this. So start from the black section there, across into the white, down here where it sets back there with a the staircase. Sorry, I think you lost me. I think I lost the signal on the uh, the Wi-Fi. 
signal. So you can just about make out there these three areas that have been cleaned. They were samples of them. The one on the right hand side, this one, that was ours and that was 11 months ago. I don't know who did the other two. But yeah, that's 11 months ago. And uh, there's still a bit of film built back up now, you know, in them 11 months. Uh, but we had this job booked in for March and then obviously we had the uh, COVID lockdown and it got postponed. Look at the state of that algae. Is is um surface cleaned just over half of it, rather than that dry in and get it rinsed before it dries in, and then surface clean the rest after. That's pretty good thinking, to be honest. So you get all this silt here that's come out off the surface and out the joints. You're just making it harder for yourself. With that. Daniel King, thanks for that. Really appreciate that, mate. Bit of chewing removal there. So this building is uh, just outside of not Ansley or something like that. Not far from Hucknall. So yeah, been here since uh, Tuesday. Um, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there were five of us. Then one of my guys went home because he'd already booked the Friday off. And then there were four of us Friday. And then one guy went home yesterday. Three of us stayed last night. Went go-karting last night. Bit of indoor go-karting. Treated the lads. Yeah, I do go karting every week. I go to different tracks. Uh, some outdoor, some indoor.
There's uh, still a video on the channel actually, which I uploaded um, when I had a bit, bit of a bad crash. Went around a blind corner and uh, the guy in front of me, who was like one or two seconds in front of me, he spun out and I crashed straight into the side of him and I came out the car. But yeah, that's on the channel. Size that joint there, the paving slipped over. What is it you do, Daniel? If you're my guys furloughed. Um, the week before lockdown on that 23rd of March, we had about 90 grand's worth of work cancelled. So we didn't do nothing for five weeks. And then all of a sudden, clients started asking for things to be done. Um, and I brought one guy back in. So we went out together and we was out for about, I think it was about six or seven weeks, just me and him. And then I brought one more back and then a couple of weeks after that the other two came back in as well and then we've just been mad busy absolutely mental um, after we finish this building we've got another one in Warwick and then another one in Leamington Spa all for the same company I've been in a casino probably once in my life. Um, I have, I have had a, a bit of a dabble at gambling, which was uh, mainly just football bets. But casinos went in with uh, with a mate once. One in Manchester called uh, Two Three Five. I think it's called. Yeah, but it's not for me that stuff. That's interesting. Midnight Explorers. Whereabouts are you from? Got you. What do you think about all this that's going on in Australia with um, 
you know, all the overzealous uh, treatment with the rules and that from the government and the police. All the rights being uh, slowly stripped away. Yeah, it's sickening and frustrating. No, it's not the first, it's just, uh, I rarely do live uh, streams, but I've done, yeah, I've done quite a few in the past. This is probably the first one in a few months. Uh, well, maybe this year, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have done some in the past. Usually the, uh, the signal's never too great. I mean, it looks perfect now from what I'm seeing. Well, if I was to watch it back later on, I bet the quality is um, a lot poorer. Tim Ives from my area, he, um, he's, he's over here at the moment, but he's, uh, he, he lives in uh, Perth in Australia. And um, he started a business over there called uh, Pollen Pay. And uh, it's pretty much like another company called Klarna which is um, a website and an app, you know, where you can um, spread payments over a few months. Like if you buy something online from a store, um, that's what he's working towards completing. Uh, it's not a full, uh, you know, completion stage yet, like Klarna is, uh, but it's uh, based on the same model. Pretty easy to get into. Um, you, know, you can start out with basic equipment and then work up to bigger systems like that. What's on the van, which is a hot system. You can start out with a cold system, just a you know petrol engine cold washer. That's what a lot of people do. That's what I did. Um, 2007, I bought that, which cost me about 450 pounds. Um, my dad bought me a van at the time for a grand. An old van, and then uh, yeah, just built up then. Bought better stuff. Back on the surface clean now. You see the demarcation here. Right guys, I'm going to end it there, um, and I'll try and do another live feed another time, maybe on something different, maybe even on that cladding clean next week, on that side through there that I've shown you, if you're only just joining us, skip back the video later on, 
and uh, on the other side of the building there's um, some cladding that's caked in algae I might even do a um, lapse of that put the camera up put the GoPro camera up maybe stick it to a window somewhere um, yeah that'd be a good time lapse to be honest just a um, bit of a downer that the uh, there's some big trees in the way so that's going to uh, obstruct the view but yeah thanks everyone for watching and Daniel King thanks for that super chat see you all later